Hi folks, welcome to the Stanley Parable. I have watched three trailers for this game, and I still don't have any idea what the hell it's about. And I don't know if you can see this, but uh, my Fraps uh, frame rate counter is on this little screen too, and probably on this one and this one and this one and so on and so forth. That's freaky. That is straight up freaky. Okay, so I've twiddled all my... What is this? Achievements? You know what? Sure. Why not? You get an achievement for turning on achievements. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll turn saves on. Uh, keyboard mouse. Let's see. Okay, WASDA and so on. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just uh, go ahead and get into it. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. So, on what's the, the paycheck like? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons uh, what to push, benefits you got. how long to you got push, insurance? Them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. It sound like a bad job. Others might have boring, considered but... it soul rending. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And he and probably Stanley was. Was happy. Good for him. You go, Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No. no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Wow. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk I'm and Stanley. stepped out of his office. Okay, let's see. Can I play with the computer? Coffee? Yo! Hey guys! <coughs> Excuse me. Can't go in there. Okay. Can't go in there. Can I? Yo, co-workers. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, it did No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can I copy my butt? Oh, no, oh, sorry, dude. Just turned your computer off. Can I turn it back on? No, no. this. Nope. Not my office. Can't go in there. These poor little cube monkeys. Oop. Where is the meeting room? Is it off this way somewhere? Can't go in there. Under construction, perhaps? Wasn't that pretty? I hate Mondays. <laughs> yep, you and me both. <coughs> 15. Oh, hello. Is this... Nope. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Can't open any of these doors, can I? Oh, it's ah, so nice. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. 
It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a, a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully That's constructed highway room. highway robbery. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Mm, coffee. Can I have coffee? Nope. Okay, I'll go back to the... Uh, oh, shit. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room right, so I'm utterly going, captivating, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. Oh, oh what's that? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's <laughs> incredible he wasn't five years ago. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Okay, oop, I guess I can't go back that way. And the door is all just shut behind me. I have no card, no nothing. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten <laughs> off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. Um, I'm asking for her. Who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who? Oh, can't go that way. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place <sighs> your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. Okay, I picked up the phone. Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What the f <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really what going on here. What the hell? This is a very sad um. story about the death of a man named Stanley. I don't have a gamepad, bro. No, it's not plugged in. Yo. Game is now paused. Oops. I don't have a gamepad. Hmm. I'm pressing A on my keyboard, it ain't doing shit. Is it? Uh, okay. That was me unplugging my SD card reader and plugging in my gamepad.
even though it doesn't really have an A button either. And nothing's happening. Can't jump. Okay, let me... <sighs> what the hell? Okay. 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 I don't have an A. Except for the one that I'm pushing right now that doesn't do anything. Well. Okay. Let's do this. Let's start over. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, yeah. What could it mean? Stanley let's, decided let's go to, to go the to meeting, the meeting room, room this Perhaps time. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now what happens? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's <laughs> office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> Do people want things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things, graphs, graphs about things and money. Colored in segment. And quarterly post review review. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographics, some sort of child trap. Throw something in the idea bin. No more bins. Renaming of idea bins. Firing of me. <laughs> I love this detail. I love it. Buzzwords. Oh, what's on the post-it note? Help, I'm a post-it. <laughs> Get Chris out of the broom closet. <laughs> Fire paper guy, who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of something. Meeting room. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. RIP Franz. Hmm. Okay. Room closet. Chris? Yo, Chris, you in there? Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to All his right. boss's office. Not there. Dang, boss. That is posh as hell. Wow. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Where's my what boss? dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the what? terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct um, code by sheer luck. Amazing. Stanley is just that he damn good. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Uh, where? Oh, there. Okay. Uh. What the hell? 
Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit Yeah, peculiar. just a little. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, hello? Stanley walked oh. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control oh, Facility. Oh, shit. Um. You know what? Fuck that. Fuck your mind control. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that yeah, at the end of this hall, we've already established Stanley that the narrator is death. full of shit. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back you. on track. I don't trust you. At running. this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Okay, maybe it actually was, um, shit. <laughs> oh, or maybe not. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to um, his demise, oh, he reflected oh that his um, life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this could be. Yeah, she spiked Perhaps plates. his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Nope. Ha ha ha. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his no. body, killing really? him instantly. But I, but I ducked. Uh -huh. See, I'm still alive. Screw you, metal jaws. I'm still alive. And um. yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart what? the game back in his office Shit. as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh, when how every nice. path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, look at this. Nature paintings. Huh. Stanley's computer. File cabinets, office computers, solitaire, employee database. Can't tell what the hell that is. The office. None of these doors work. Button sounds. Credits. We'll come back to that. The office. Maintenance room. Still can't copy my butt. What the hell? Oh, it's their uh, green light thingies. Oh, more stuff. What? <laughs> Those 
far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Alien base. Ha <laughs> ha! The lounge, the office, the apartment timer, huh, this is all fascinating, but Stanley's office. Yes, this is all fascinating, but now oh, there's exit. Okay. The freedom ending. What, what's this? Countdown desk. Okay, I'm just gonna leave all this stuff alone. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Oh, look, it's the end of off. Oh dear. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still oh, save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. Oh, oh, I think it got me this time. Well. Hello. Yeah, I think I have to go back to, um,. Okay. Well, this is an interesting little game. And I think I will be playing some more of it. So I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.